Spirit of Angel behind Christ right here on this side, highest and best being only what is going on in the GK collective. Gossip, competition, sweet dreams. Let me tell you what numbers I see. Seven, seven. Okay, so you may be seeing seven, seven. I also see five. But at the center of the reading, we have gossip, competition, and sweet dreams. The Pisces collective. What messages do you have? Crown appeared. You may be working on your crown chakra or you uh, may need to look up what crown chakra is if you're unfamiliar. It says honor and respect will come to you. Honor and respect will come to you. Riptide tunnel is here. Course correct. You may need to course correct. It says I have married the love of my life and our relationship is blossoming daily. I see Shakti, which is the divine feminine cosmic energy. I also see unicorns. The number 30. Someone here may be 30 years old. Don't have to be. But it says, spread the light of the unicorns. Water codes are here. You may have ancient wisdom or you're interested in ancient wisdom. Uh, it says, the intelligence is within you. Forest spirit appeared. You may like to hang out outside. It says, you have the wisdom to make changes in your life. If you act with authority and let go of doubt. Thank you, spirit. Number 28 is here. Someone may be 28. Or born, um, Feb no, it can't be born in February day because I don't think that's for Pisces. But yeah, you may be 28 years old who's listening to this it says you are attracting your soul family you're going to experience happy reunions support and order from chaos you may be someone who uh, has a background in counseling um, it says you healed with, with kind words you give wise advice in an empathetic ear if you're not in counseling you may want to consider being in counseling it says ishtar boundaries you love yourself enough to say no to others demands on your time and energy okay looking good so far let's move on to the kipper deck pisces and see what we have for you let's do a quick overview we have gossip competition and sweet dreams at the center of the deck you may be seeing seven seven it says honor and respect will come to you you may need to course correct it says i marry the love of my life and our relationship is blossoming daily shakti is here the divine co uh, feminine cosmic energy you may be a unicorn it says continue to spread the light of the unicorns there are water codes all around you ancient wisdom the intelligence is within you you have the wisdom to make changes in your life. If you act with authority and let go of doubt, happy reunion support and order from chaos is around the corner because your soul family is here. Uh, counseling, you heal with kind words, wise advice, and an empathetic ear, and boundaries. You know how to set your own boundaries. Spirit, do you have anything else for the Pisces Collective? Anything else for the Pisces Collective? The Pisces Collective. Thoughts? 16 reducing to 7. So I see 7, 7, 7. Seven, okay, because we got message, that's seven. Okay, so we have four sevens here. Let's read this thoughts and message. This card represents the thoughts of a man the questioner is interested in. His thoughts are positive when not touching 814. Okay, uh, it says it could also mean making plans. This card, perhaps Kipper's great gift at last, a card directly addressing thoughts and matters of the mind. This card is generally positive. Here we meet the artist in his studio. Adrift in his vision and struggling to realize his perfect portrait of a lady. While traditionally called his thoughts, it may also represent the sitter's own concerns, preoccupations, and obsessions. Read the cards around this one to learn all the thoughts. Okay, the card above will generally be the main preoccupation, while the one below may be what is being avoided. In accordance to the question, when surrounded by challenging cards, thoughts may reveal things you didn't want to know. More abstractly, it can also describe a thoughtful person when next to uh, a significant or other character card. It can also indicate a need for contemplation and meditation. This is a card that reveals your consideration or your opinion or the thoughts of others. Though it often indicates thinking about love or a person and feeling firmly connected with someone. It seems somewhat platonic in love matters. It also shows your memories and ideas. It encourages you to reflect thoroughly and to explore new ideas. It came out right next to the message, which it says the original connotation of the pleasant message is generally good news. Unless with challenging cards below, you may also be something you're in denial about or refusing to hear. Here we see a writing desk with a lovely antique brass phone, a fountain pen, and a heavy crystal inkwell. A hand holds a telegram. Still in this envelope, inside the letterbox, we see different kinds of written notes, a business or a calling card, a folded letter in its envelope. It stands for all forms of messages and communications like phone calls, texts, emails, letters, documents, notes, papers. And as it's the seventh card, it could represent seven days or one week. Informal communications such as letters, texts, notes, memos, phone calls, voice messages, and emails. Uh, this card shows all your messages in mail, private or public. It also describes the daily news and all kind of information and correspondence, even newspapers and magazines. The message card encourages you to interact with others. The broken seal on the envelope suggests that in this particular scene, the message is one that has been received. 
Nevertheless, the phone, pen, and inkwell depict a working desk from where the messages can also be sent. Okay, thank you, Spirit. So, Spirit, what's this message card here? Needs some clarification. Okay. What came out right next to the uh, message card was Mature Woman, the number six. Then we got the number 25, reducing the seven. So, right now we have five sevens. Imprisonment, the number 29. And then we have poverty in reverse. What came out after poverty in reverse was the number nine, change. And I see sort of like a chariot looking vehicle. So I had to come back because I thought poverty in reverse was the last card, but it's not. The last card is change. Okay, so that is your reading, you guys. Um, at the bottom of the deck, I see thief, the number 24, reducing the six. I will not be reading each card simply because I am accepting personal readings now. Um, you can visit my shop at myaparks.com slash shop. If you would like an email reading, you will receive it within 48 hours. Thank you. See you guys on the next one.